This video is not for scammers. Welcome to my channel Striker24x7. Subscribe to my channel for notifications and updates. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to create custom form fields in VC Dial. Why we need the custom fields in VC Dial? The default VC Dial list fields are limited to approx 20 fields. Next, not easy or recommended to customize the default fields in source code or you might require more customized fields according to the campaign process. What are the prerequisites required to create custom fields? 1. VC Dial admin access with full admin rights. 2. At least one list should be available to create custom fields. Steps to enable and create custom fields. Step 1. Enable the custom list fields option under admin, system settings. By default it's disabled. Step 2. Create a new list without any data uploaded. Step 3. Creating new custom fields in the list which we created. Step 4. Upload leads to the new list to start dialing. Before creating custom fields, let's see the field types and other settings available in VC Dial. Let's see what are the custom fields options available in VC Dial. Number 1 Text field, used to enter single line text entry. Number 2 Area field, used to enter multi line text entry example feedback form. Number 3 Select. Select is a single selection pull down menu. Number 4 Multi. Multi is a multiple select box, used to select multiple option by pressing control button. Number 5. Radio. Radio is a list of radio buttons where only one option can be selected. Number 6. Checkbox. Checkbox is a list of checkboxes where multiple options can be selected. Number 7. Date. Date is a year month day calendar pop up where the agent can select the date. Number 8. Time. Time is a 24 hour daytime pop up where the agent can select the time. Number 9. Display. Display will display only and not allow for modification by the agent. Number 10. Script. Script will also display only, but you are able to use script variables just like in the scripts feature, also HTML codes like font size. Bold. Number 11. Hidden. Hidden will not show the agent the field, but will allow the field to have data imported into it and exported from it. Number 12. Read only. Read only will display the value of the data in the field but will not allow the agent to alter the data. Number 13. Switch. Switch field type allows the agent to switch the lead custom fields to another list. Other settings for custom fields. Number 1. Field rank. The order in which these fields is displayed to the agent, from lowest on top to highest on the bottom. Number 2. Field order. If more than one field has the same rank, they will be placed on the same line and they will be placed in order by this value from lowest to highest, left to right. Number 3. Field Label This is the database field identifier for this field. This needs to be a unique identifier within the custom fields for this list. Do not use any spaces or punctuation for this field. Number 4. Field Name This is the name of the field as it will appear to an agent through their interface. You can use spaces in this field, but no punctuation characters. Number 5. Field Name Position If set to left, this field name will appear to the left of the field, if set to top the field name will take up the entire line and appear above the field. Number 6. Field Description. The description of this field is it will appear in the administration interface. This is an optional field. Number 7. Field Help. Optional field, if you fill it in, the agent will be able to see this text when they click on a help link next to the field in their agent interface. Number 8. Field Type. This option defines the type of field that will be displayed. Which we have discussed in previous slides. Number 10. Field Options. For the select, multi, radio and checkbox field types, you must define the option values in this box. You must put a list of comma separated option label. For the script field types, this field is where you put your script contents. For the switch field type, you should define the list ID for the custom fields. Number 11. Option Position. For checkbox and radio field types only, if set to horizontal the options will appear on the same line possibly wrapping to the line below if there are many options. If set to vertical there will be only one option per line. Default is horizontal. Number 12. Field size. This setting will mean different things depending on what the field type is. For text fields, the size is the number of characters that will show in the field. For area fields, the size is the width of the text box and characters. For multi fields, this setting defines the number of options to be shown in the multi-select list. For select, radio, checkbox, date and time this setting is ignored. Number 13. Field Max. This setting will mean different things depending on what the field type is. 
For text, hidden and read-only fields, the size is the maximum number of characters that are allowed in the field. For area fields, this field defines the number of rows of text visible in the text box. For multi, select, radio, checkbox, date and time this setting is ignored. Number 14. Field default. This optional field lets you define what value to assign to a field if nothing is loaded into that field. Default is null which disables the default function. Number 15. Field required. If the campaign option allowing required fields is also enabled, this field allows you to force an agent to fill in this field before they can hang up the call. Number 16. Field duplicate. This option will allow you to create a duplicate of a text type custom field that already exists in a different location within your custom list fields form. This option only works with text type fields. Now log in to your VC Dial admin page. Step 1. Enable the custom list fields, under admin system settings. By default this is disabled. Next step 2. Create a new list. In which we are going to create custom fields. I am creating a sample list with it 1001. Step 3. Creating custom field. Click list custom fields and click modify fields for listed 1001. Now we are creating our first custom field, text type. Example spouse name. Next field type area. Example feedback form field. Where we need more space to type. Next field type select. That is drop down field selection. For this field type, we need to enter the field options in comma separated value show here, for each values. Next field type. Radio. That is radio buttons for single field selection. For radio type, you need to enter the field options, enter the values and comma separated as shown here one by one. Next field type. Checkbox. That is multiple selection checkbox fields. Similar like radio type. For checkbox field type enter the field options values in comma separated format.
Next field type date. Field option with date selection. Example appointment date. Next field type time. Field option with time selection in 24 hours format. Example appointment time. Next field type display. Field type to just display the message in agent panel, example name of the campaign or process. Next field type script. Similar to display field type, but here you can use HTML codes and insert the VC dial variable similar way used in script tab. Next field type hidden. This field type displayed as hide an agent panel, but will allow the field to have data imported into it and exported from it by admin. Next field type read only. Read only will display the value of the data in the field, but will not allow the agent to alter the data. Final field type switch. The switch field type allows the agent to switch the lead custom fields to another list. For switch field options you must define the current listed along with other listed in comma separated format. Let's check the custom fields are working fine, by logging in as agent. And make some test calls either manual dial or auto dial. I am testing it by dialing a number manually. As soon I dial you can see the custom fields displayed under form tab. Enter the values, select values.
click on switch field to shift between the lists. Let me show you how to copy the custom fields from one list to another list. Click on copy custom list in the list ID to copy fields from. Select the source list in list Idaho to copy fields to. Select the target list ID. Then select either append or update or replace. Finally, let me show you how to download report with custom fields. In report page make sure you have selected the custom field to yes. Thanks for watching. Catch you yet another video.